Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to do a review of a PFT filament from IC3D. So let's have a look after the intro. So this is a PFT filament from IC3D and I want to put out a disclaimer. I got the clear filament as a gift from IC3D during my visit at Earth and seeing at IC3D come running to me with a filament <laughs> spool and he gave me the clear filament and I bought the black one with my own money but other than that no money exchanged hands I, like I said I bought the black one and was given the clear one but so that's out of the way but I printed out several things with this filament and I'm going to show you the results. So one of the first tests was this stringing test and I was getting pretty good results. Uh, a tiny amount of stringing and that's something I've expected from a patchy filament. Um, it's uh, maybe not so difficult to, to break those strands but it's like more strong than maybe a PLA or more brittle. You would have to put more force into it and then suddenly it breaks. So it's uh, quite different than a PLA, that PLA bends usually more, but this was coming out excellent. Uh, I then printed out this overhang test and this had uh, small issues and it's always difficult to see on a black filament, but there's a few strands here in the longer spans that I was drooping a little bit, but not, not too bad. Um, so I was quite, quite happy with this. Uh, then on the overhang tests, I had a little bit of issues here in the 70 degrees part and other than that in the 60 degrees it was looking pretty good on this print and on this print it was a little bit surface finish uh, issues but one is facing away from the fan and one is facing towards the fan and so it gives you both views pretty decent overhang capability I would say I then printed out this break test um, and this is printed on the bed like this um, here to break it it was not very difficult to break it, it's uh, more difficult to break on the part that is printed on the bed like this so it was quite difficult and even it did not snap it was somewhat stuck together <laughs> but, uh, so maybe layer adhesion was not excellent but Pretty good, nevertheless. I then printed out the Omnum by Tessa. And this model is looking good, and it's difficult to see in the in the black, but it, the surface finish is really good, and, and no issues while printing, and no issues here in the overhang, and the backside is really smooth, and this was coming out excellent, and, and no issues, and very very good good looking print. And here's the Otis model by Gareth and this was also coming out excellent and no issues and here I didn't have any stringing issues I sometimes have stringing here in between those fangs but uh, this was coming out excellent and, and no issues on this print and my maker coin that came out excellent uh, there was a tiny amount of stringing here in the face and in the letters but other than that it came out excellent um, this one I printed out with infill and it's pr just uh, completely solid almost. <laughs> it was, normally I don't print them with infill, but uh, this one is quite solid. But it looks really good and the letters came out pretty good. And, uh, again, it's difficult to see maybe in the in the black filament. Uh, and here's Mr. Belly and it came out excellent and, and no issues. And, the the strength uh, layer adhesion is maybe not very good that's maybe the only only complaint it's not very difficult to to break apart um, you might get better layer adhesion printing out in some other temperatures but this was coming out uh, looking looking good in the temperature patchy settings i was using in this printing at 235 degrees so that was the one i used for this test print it came out excellent also the bridging here had a small issue and here in the overhang it came out excellent and a small amount of stringing 
with the dome here came out great and no issues and the surface finish here on the back of the dome also excellent and no issues with that and <coughs> And then printed out with a clear filament this bridging test and this is a, like a bridge and overhang tests I designed and here in the topmost part it is 80 degrees overhang and there's only a small amount of drooping and it's very difficult to get this good but it came out pretty good nevertheless and the bridging here came out rather good here's a small issue in this one but on this side this bridge here is absolutely perfect and, and no issues this is like 100 millimeter long bridge this one here and this is 120 millimeter long so it's a quite a long long bridge but here i had some issues probably is the cooling issue from this side so this is printed on the bed this is facing the fan and this is on the side so here it has some cooling issues probably but other than that this came out excellent um, I then printed out some mechanical parts. This is an upgraded part for the Prusa MK3 printer. That it has a new design for the fan, for the part cooling fan, and also the air duct for the hot end fan. Now it has some different design in regard to airflow. It will uh, have some benefits. Um, Prusa was releasing this model as an upgrade for the MK3. So I'm going to put this on the MK3 at some point. Um, this is a part cooling parts and now they have the part cooling fan uh, at an angle so the blower fan will come out at an angle but uh, this will probably be a product video at some point on my channel but those prints those mechanical prints came out excellent and i cleaned out a little bit of stringing in this prints but otherwise they came out excellent and I look forward to put those parts on and, and see how, how they perform. I finally printed out this vase uh, in a vase mode and this came out excellent. This is with the clear filament and you can see how the filament shines and but you can see the fingers showing through. <laughs> it's a really good looking filament for a vase print. It's a very shiny and, and looks really good and I was quite happy with this vase. Um, I have to put some lights in it or, or something but this came out excellent and I was really happy with the clear clear filament. Uh, and I think like for, for mechanical parts like this maybe the clear filament doesn't uh, give you any good, <laughs> good looks <laughs> but for a vase print like that it was looking awesome. So uh, for a clear filament you have to maybe choose what you're going to use use it for to get good results on, on looks. But this was coming out excellent. So this was my full review of IC3D PET-G filament. And I got this filament at Earth and the clear spool was given to me and I bought the black one. And I was really happy with this filament. Really easy to print with and, and no issues. Uh, very little stringing compared to some other PET-G filaments. And I was quite happy with this filament. So if you have a chance to buy this filament, I know they ship in US only, I think. Um, it's a shame they don't ship to Europe. I would really like to get more of this filament. But I have those two roles. But uh, this will be it for this video. I, I would recommend this filament. I didn't have any, any complaints for it. So for now, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.